We pick up the night, starting with hand 62 out of 150. Donnie Stern, pocket fives, a raise to 1,500. Eugene Kachaloff folds. Jack four for Daniel. He's out. Big slick for the big man, raised to 5,500. Phil's continuing to display his more aggressive preflop style we've seen this week. Andre looking at 10-3 suited and calling. Another, another four of them. I think the wheels may have finally come off Andre's race car. Donnie calls with his pocket pair. We can honestly say this is the first loose cannon who's playing like it's not his money. <laughs> first flop of the night. Queen, queen, eight, two spades. Helmuth checks. Andre checks. Everybody's missed, which means Donnie's pair of fives is best. He's looking at a continuation bet, even though this is going to be the best hand a decent percentage of the time. Donnie makes it 8,500. So far this week, Phil's had a hard time laying down ace high on the flop, especially to Donnie. How deep are you? A little less than 100 to start the hand. Donnie's into the big game for over 150K, so he's still down over 50. Bill calls. Andre folds. Donnie actually doesn't look very strong, which is surprising because his hand isn't strong enough for him to be trying to look weak on purpose. Six of spades on the turn, giving Helmuth the nut flush draw, and he checks. At this point, both players probably will want to just have a cheap showdown. There's the check by Donnie. The river, the seven of diamonds. Phil still only got ace high. Check. Helmuth checks. Looks like Donnie's struggling with thoughts of value betting his fives. He has to wonder what worse hands will call him. Stern checks. Ace king. And Stern wins a pot of more than 34 grand. Pretty good check there. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. It's my favorite part. <laughs> he had a lot of outs there. <laughs> same man, same man. I think you could have bluffed him too. I think Daniel's going to fold. Them, if you bet the river, you're going to fold, right, Donnie? He called the river. If, 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 he, bet, I if he bet, for sure. If he bet $2,200, I would have raised. He could have bet 2200 I think. Yeah. You guys are never smart enough to raise the right amount. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. What the f man? That's just Phil's way of saying, nice hand, sir. Sixteen hundred. Phil raises to sixteen hundred. Sixteen, huh? Yep, yep. Pair of jacks for Donnie Stern. Stern and Helmuth got into it at the table last night. Donnie calls. Looks like Donnie's continuing his trend of getting in Phil's way. Donnie hasn't re-raised because he's out of position and he gets to underrep his hand. Deuce, ace, king, two diamonds. Stern checks. Helmuth checks. Fills out flop Donnie, but he checks for pot control. Stern now with a set of jacks after the turn. Terrible card for Phil. Donnie's looking to bet for value and start building a pot for an even bigger river bet. Stern bets 2,800. 2800. Helmuth quickly calls with second pair. Hard to know that jack hit Donnie. The river. The eight of clubs. The eight doesn't really change anything for Phil. He's still likely to pay off a reasonable value bet on the river. Stern makes it 6,500. Phil's just been led into twice, which is strong, but he hates being bluffed. He may be trying to convince himself that Donnie's bluffing since Phil checked the flop. When you check behind with a marginal hand, sometimes you end up paying off bets you shouldn't. Convince yourself your opponent is bluffing because you gave him or her the opportunity to bluff. Let's see if Phil's up to making one of his classic laydowns. No.
Dopey calls. You're gonna like this one. God, I just knew the jack hurt me. I almost said something out loud. You almost said something out loud. But... I should have said it. Should that would have changed or something? About the flop, I was trying to milk him. What am I gonna do? You milk me. Milk. Milk, milk, milk. Eugene folds. Same with Daniel. Sixteen. Sixteen hundred. Uh oh. Ah, uh, that one hurt. Created a monster. Phil raises. Phil should probably make it less obvious that he's steaming. <laughs> Donnie, suited in the small blind, calls. Perlot also suited. This is a hand a lot of players would defend in the big blind, especially against a steaming poker brat. And Friedman will do so. Three to the flop, which is nine jack six. Top two for Helmuth. Phil's locking on the tractor beams. Stern, the first to act. Donnie's open-ended with an overcard. And bets 3,600. Friedman folds. And Phil raises to 15,000. Donnie was hoping to take it down with a semi-bluff. Phil's just told Donnie where he can put that semi-bluff. <laughs> Phil's raise is pretty big. On the off chance, Donnie has a set. He's kind of painting himself into a corner. Keep in mind, you want players with draws to call you. Phil gets what he wants. Wow. Phil. Nice hand. <laughs> <laughs> the turn is the eight of hearts. Donnie's made his straight. Phil is just joking, but I think his mindset coach must be teaching him the secret or something. Or maybe instead of reading the book Blink, he accidentally read Bink. Donnie's in a great spot because he's got the nuts and he's pretty sure Phil's got something big as well. Stern bets 25 grand. Helmuth quickly calls. To quote Phil from yesterday, that's a snap call, kid. Even though he's dead to a boat. The river, the seven of hearts. The only thing Donnie's worried about is the slim chance that Phil made runner runner hearts. And since Phil made his big moves before the hearts came into play, Donnie can be pretty confident Phil didn't make a flush. It'll be safe for him to value bet this river. Stern makes it 35,000. Phil's got to have a pretty good idea he's beat now. There's a four card straight out there, three hearts. Phil has to wonder what hands would have called a huge raise on the flop and then led the turn in river. <laughs> is this for real? I mean, is, is, are these hands for real? Phil's impression of David after dentist. Phil can't believe he's been run down again. He may be trying to talk himself into making a I can't be this unlucky call. Donnie's also given him pretty good odds to make this call. 35K more to win over 120, about four to one. Phil should maybe be suspicious of getting such a good price. Wow. What can I beat, I mean? I guess I can be Jack-8. Phil's trying to figure out what hands he can beat, and that's why this is taking so long. There aren't any. All right. Phil calls. Ejector seat in three, two, one, blast off. I'm shocked he called. I'm really, I, I didn't think he was gonna call these yeah. hands for real. Dad, I don't know what you could have to call the raise and just fire. That was weird. I thought you were gonna lay that one down, brother. Nice hand, buddy. Nice hand, buddy. Where's my blow up? Okay, I'll lead it off. You want to go? I mean, what the f So sick. Finally decided to play a big hand with the big with the nuts, and they hit their miracle there too. I thought you said you had 
I didn't think you were that stupid to believe it, but maybe <laughs> you are. I mean, I didn't think you were stupid enough to call, Bam! but since we're making, straight, making personal yeah. attacks already. Yeah, another bad winner, huh? I'm a bad winner? Is that what you're didn't saying? Didn't you just say that I, didn't you say I was just stupid enough to Didn't call? you just say I was stupid enough to believe you? Yeah, I'm you? a bad loser. You're 10 times as bad as a bad winner. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You I sh because I shot it back, I shot it back at you after you just called me stupid, so I'm the bad winner? Are you kidding me? You, you needled me about having 10-8. For How some do you needle reason. you? You said I had 10-8. Obviously, I was kidding. So you needled Obviously me about you're that. Kidding. So Why I is said that something obvious? back You called the river when there was a force to straight on the board. Why is it obvious that you didn't have 10-8? Good stuff. Why? How <laughs> okay. could it possibly okay. Okay. be obvious See, that you didn't have 10-8? See, here's the beautiful thing. You honestly don't think you've been out of line at all. And that's amazing to me. That's what? I know that I've been out of line, but I'm a man. I admit it. Now's your chance. You're 23. I don't think you could admit it. Admit that I'm out of line? Are you kidding me? Wow. Do they, do they capture all this for, for the camera? God, I yeah. hope so. I think we might get that. Because <laughs> he needled me about the 10-8. He made the first then, comment about the 10 8. Did you call him stupid first? I mean, how old are we? Yeah. This is ridiculous. You said, I didn't think you were stupid enough to believe me that I had 10-8. So you're essentially saying, oh, I guess he is that stupid. Yeah, and then you, actually, then he did say that. He did then say, I guess you are that stupid. What'd you say about the 10-8? Well, why, why, why did you make that yeah. comment to me back? Why did you, what, that started it to me. You said something about... So I started oh. It's who started it now. That's what you're arguing about? Let me fill. You guys both... We're adults here. Well, I think he reacted, though, to you. I, don't, I didn't hear the 10-8 part. What did you say there? No, he I'm said... He needled, me, right he needled me with the 10-8 first. What do you mean What do you mean needled you? He said some comment about he was needling me. Oh, yeah, I thought you had 10-8. No, I didn't... Phil, you oh, you said didn't you, say that? No, oh. I didn't. So you didn't okay, say anything about 10-8? No. You said oh, you had 10-8. Really? You said you had 10-8. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I said. Obviously, I was kidding. Why, why should I know you were kidding? I mean, you were saying it. You, every other time you say what you had, and this time I'm supposed to know. So he said things. you had 10 and you laughed about it or something? No, I didn't. I still need four no, he, no he, 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 made, he made some clever comment. So, so. But the thing is, the thing is, all I wanted to do is admit that he had a partner, and he didn't. So, I mean, what a surprise. Donnie with pocket kings. Speaking of straddling, Cowboys. Raised to 3,000. Prahlad. <laughs> right? It's like, I don't want to play that high. Five out of the six times. <laughs> Action over to Phil. Queen. Oh, boy. Queen. Duh, get the bleeper ready. <laughs> 9,000. A re raise to 9,000. Donnie's in a spot where he could make a four bet, but he doesn't want to chase Helmuth out if he's getting out of line. We know Phil's got queens, though, and he'll call just about anything. Call. See, that's already a big game. Look at that. He just put in 9000 That's because there's a straddle on it, Phil. We're not asking for a double straddle, just the one. Both the straddle and the cooler <laughs> hand are to blame for the size of this pot. A juicy pot pre-flop, which comes out jack eight king. A set for Stern. All Donnie needed was for Phil to not flop a set. Phil checks. Donnie's in position, so if he bets here, it will look like a continuation bet. 11,000. Phil calls. I was going to suggest that the king might bother Phil, but it doesn't appear so. Jack of hearts on the turn as Stern fills up. Phil's now drawing dead to someone pulling the fire alarm. Helmuth checks. Phil put Donnie on a jack. Maybe the second one hitting will save him some money. Donnie's trying to figure out how to get max value. He bets 30,000. These guys both have their hands in their mouths, which, when unintentional, is a sign of weakness. Phil calls. In Donnie's case, it might actually be a reverse tell. Phil just called 30,000, drawing stone dead. The river, the 10 of diamonds. Phil checks. I can't really tell how many that is, the, the yellows. About uh, 60. You have about 60 left? Yeah. There's 100K in the pot, and Phil's only got 60K behind. It would probably look stronger if Donnie didn't put Phil all in. 
Come on. There goes Donnie putting Phil all in. At this point, all Phil Helmuth has is a bluff catcher. I think he knows it. There's no way Donnie would be value betting any hand worse than a pair of queens in this spot, so Phil's either crushed or Donnie's bluffing in his eyes. Why is it just funny to watch him in anguish? I don't know. It's just the sickest stuff. I mean, just, I mean I, why, why do I even come here? I mean, it's just ridiculous. This guy probably has ace jack and just hit some miracle jack like it was nothing. Maybe he's just bluffing it all off. I mean, uh, Phil's trying very hard to convince himself he can call. See you, Daniel. He knows this could be a while. Here's my thinking, okay? Can't be shit at 35,000 when he went up the call. I think this time he's got, he's got, he's not bluffing at all. I think it doesn't look like he's bluffing to me. I think he's betting because he thinks Phil is just sick and annoyed and he's gonna looks? call. 52. But I don't think, I don't think Danny's ever bluffing here. Do you think he's bluffing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on in. Huddle love. <laughs> for, for, for love. <laughs> oh, 100%. Everyone here. There's no way. Phil and Donnie have had some history this week, maybe clouding Phil's judgment. No, you might be bluffing here. I don't think there's any chance he's bluffing yeah, here. Like almost like zero close chance. Close to zero. He wouldn't have even bothered betting the turn. I think I think uh, Helmuth has ace king. You think he has ace king? He could have ace king. He thinks he has queens. He might have queens. Hey, wait, he did race less. Actually, he has queens because he made it nine thousand before the flop. Yeah, yeah. He has queens because he only made it nine. He always reaches pot. Yeah. I think he's bluffing. Is that the Brad no Pack bluffing. over there? <laughs> boys, he might be bluffing here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> he might be bluffing here. He wants to be a hero right here for sure. Wow, I have a feeling he's bluffing. I don't know if I, if I can call it though. Oh, if he's bluffing and he calls, it'll be, he'll feel like, so the, the, he knows he'll he'll feel so like Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposed to have me beat, I mean. I don't think Phil has a feeling he's bluffing. I think Phil wants him to be bluffing. I just also, the way that Danny asked, the way that Danny asked how many he's yeah. got, so natural and so comfortable. It's, very comfortable. it's like this, it's like, yeah. just see what you got. He's like, I'm all in. Yeah, it's like, yeah. so come on, yeah. give me a break. You have it for sure. Should I also feel insurance? <laughs> You bluffing, Donnie? Wow, I just I just feel like you're I feel like you're bluffing. He wants to win today. He wants to win some good money. Yeah, so true. like this is his opportunity to make a be a hero. Sixty-eight thousand dollars. Here we go. This is this is before, this is the call before the storm. <laughs> See it when it happens. Yeah. Want to get back? Yeah. Based on pot odds, Phil's not getting nearly the right odds for how often Donnie would be bluffing here. But I don't think this decision is about pot odds for Phil. All right. Well, now that everyone's back and Phil's sure the cameras are back on him, we should get a decision soon. Last time I made a decision like this, I was wrong. I looked pretty bad. Wow. It's like my hand won't let me fold here. It's so weird. Once someone picks up their cards like that, they usually fold. Just queens, boys. That's all I have. Pocket queens. God, I hate to, I hate to give this one up. Just hate to give it up. My read has not been perfect lately, though. That's the problem. You just can't wait to flip over that queen 10 or those two deuces or whatever.
Bill Folds. My contacts are drying out. It's unreal. I, I, try, full, Bill, I tried to play guess. tried to play two big pots against this kid. He snapped off top two and queens. Snapping off queens is pretty easy with kings. I guess you could call him a whippersnapper. 